Hey, hey! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make tabs for your Bible, for your art journal, or for whatever you want. Now this is my Bible journal. I've got many, 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 many tabs. And all of these are made from recycled junk. Now what is recycled junk? Well, this is recycled junk. It's a whole box of goodies. But look at all the different patterns and assortments that you can get from tissue boxes. A lot of tissue boxes. Sticker backings. Food boxes. Hey, Krispy Kreme. Anything that has a thickness. Now, thick, I mean, listen. You hear that? You can thump it. You want something thick. Because if you use regular paper, it's going to curl. Now, you can use regular paper if you stick it on a tab. It's not near as bad. <clears throat> now, like some of these, uh, most of these are clothing tags. Some of these are food tags. Um, here's a Crayola box. Here's a washi. And I've stuck stickers on them. And then I put these labels on the back, which I will link a download at the bottom. So you can download that and put them on. And, and some of these are, you know, just giant stickers and fabric clips. All sorts of goodies. Now, when you're looking through stuff like this, types of junk, you're going to look for four main things. The first thing you're going to look for is words. Anything that you can punch out and make a word. Like for this, I could do for a tools page or anything I did a unicorn or a new look, awakening. <clears throat> or the second thing you want to look for are patterns and colors. These are just simple things. Like this is a tissue box. That was a Krispy Kreme box. Uh, plain colors that you can stick words on. <clears throat> and my favorite are pictures like if you did an Olaf page you wouldn't need to put words on for Olaf you just have Olaf or mermaid or this little accent right here you could easily fit a word right here which is awesome I've used that a bunch of times and then there's the leftovers these are things that you really you don't want to use but they're good for just the thickness of it like this one is a piece of scrapbook paper that I stuck on top of this and it works perfect but you just want the thickness for this one now, to make these, you only need a few things. First, you need your recycle packaging. I'm going to use this marker box because it's got some pretty stuff, very different stuff. And a tab punch. Now, this is a We Are Memories Keeper tab punch. It's this design. You can use any other kind of tab punch you want. You don't need a tab punch, but if you're going to make a lot of these, it's a whole lot easier. So, when you're looking at your box, you're going to look for anything that you like anything that you could use like i could use this whole side right here i could use these pretty little doodles on the back um there's not that many words but i could definitely use this word covering or even this right here all right so you're going to take this apart I'll take it apart some most of them you're going to have to cut oops short. all right see so i've taken that apart so i can get to it I'm going to take my punch, line it up, do it on the back so you can see through it, and let's see, I like this one right here, and there we go, all done. Now this is good for the front, for the back you can put something on it, you can paint it, or you can just punch another tab and glue it right on the back and you're good to go. <clears throat> now how to apply these. All you need is packaging tape. Real easy. I'm going to apply it to this note card here. And where my packaging tape go? There it is. All right. All right, this is standard packaging tape. This one is heavy duty. I like the thickness of it. Some of the other stuff is really cheap and it doesn't do as well. So you're going to pull it out. Pull it out far enough so you can hold on to it. All right. <clears throat> and you're going to take your tab. I'll just use it just like this. And you're going to use just enough at the end to stick to your page. See that? All right. And then don't stick it there yet. Do it on the end so it kind of wibbles back and forth. I'll show you why in a minute. And then flatten it down to the back. And you can tear this off if you want to, but I never get a straight edge, so I just cut it with my scissors. Just like this. 
just enough to stick to the other side of the page okay so it'll look like this you can see that all right and then you line it up on the edge of your page that you're going to do just do the back first stick it right on top of the edge so it lines up perfectly and then just fold it over easy peasy <clears throat> there you go you got a tab now if you're going to do your books of the bible or a bunch of tabs at once you obviously don't want to take the time to do that just like that so here's the easy way to do it take your tape and roll it out just a little bit far enough you can see can you see that all right and then you're going to take your tabs and just like we did the first one, let me zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> All right, just like before, you're going to use the very edge just enough to get to the paper. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see right here. All right, fold that over. And there you go. There's one tab. Now, when you're doing your next tab, you won't have to cut and do the next part. Just take a ruler, a pretty wide ruler. This one's pretty wide. I lay it over top right next to the edge and then take your next tab and then just stick it right there that'll be enough room for you to cut and keep on going now well now that you've got two you can hang on to this tab kind of line the ruler up with your finger Gotta be careful with your fingers here. Hold it right there. And then just keep going. And just keep doing that until you finish. Now, once you got all your tabs done, I didn't mean to stick. Same thing. Cut just enough a little bit to be able to get to your paper. And there's one tab. Oop, flying everywhere. Another tab. And another tab. And there you go. That was easy. <clears throat> All right. So now, if you're doing words, let me tear this one apart. <clears throat> do, do, do. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get to that just with a punch, right? All right. So you're going to have to do some trimming a little bit. Get this off because I'll use that later. And don't worry about, you know, cutting all of this because you're going to use it later. You're not wasting it. It's recycled. You're good. All right. So I want the word brilliant colors right here. I'm going to line this up. And look at that. Fits perfectly. All right. And then I'm going to just punch. Oop, flies everywhere. And now I have this tab. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I can stick this on anything that was bright and colorful or, you know, if I did like a, a water page or something. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them. And if you want to see my full Bible journal, all my entries are done on my Instagram and I'll link that below. I'm working on doing process videos. I haven't got that far yet. I'm in the process of moving, so it's going to take a little bit. But if you have any, 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 any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Other than that, have an awesome day.